uh, Dark Side Phil, DSP, the father of Let's Players, the preeminent video game enthusiast on the internet. He's got an eight-year legacy, well, nine-year legacy now, a nine-year legacy. And our boy, well, he tied the knot. Happy day. DSP has found him a woman, and he is he's netted her up. He tied that bitch up. She ain't going nowhere. Well, <laughs> I don't know how he did it. Maybe he had a tranquilizing gun we didn't know about. But DSP is married. First night home as a married man. Life is good. That's from the 13th. That's, that's, wait, wait a minute. That's 1 a.m. this morning. First night home as a married man. Life is good. Ooh. DSP has a wife. DSP is married. Which probably means he's had sex. Which is a frightening fucking thought, to be honest with you. Posted on his info, uh, uh, on his Instagram. First night home as a married man, life is good. There's a picture of the ring. Uh, you couldn't even tell he got that out of a vending machine. Doesn't even look plastic. <laughs> it's very lifelike. Almost looks like it's real metal. I'm very impressed with DSP. There you go. Another picture of the uh, happy couple. Surprise, we got married. It was a tiny ceremony and my suit is 10 years old. But we're so happy. Full story coming this weekend. There's the him and her uh, wedding rings. And look at that. That is so beautiful. You can't even tell it's a wax you know, sculpture. It looks lifelike. These real dolls are actually getting very real. Now, I'm not sure how he propped her up. Maybe there's like a broomstick holding the back up. But you, you could look at that and think it's an actual person. It's very impressive, DSP. Oh, can you believe it? Nine years he's been playing video games on the internet, and our boy is married. <laughs> he tied the nut. Sorry, Panda Lee. You don't get none of this. All that YouTube money, it's going to my real wife. You can go sell your fucking soap by the curb. Nobody wants it. I've got me a new girl, and we're starting a life together. We're hitched. <laughs> we are hitched together. So I thought, because uh, DSP is obviously celebrating this happy occasion, we could take a look back at some DSP-related things. Pull up some stuff on YouTube, have a little bit of fun. Just look at the DSP of yesteryear. <laughs> Which includes a lot of shit. Uh, okay, I think that's the one we want to start with. Oh, God, where's... Uh, this is going to be... What's up, is this the one where he flushes... Yeah, I think this is the one where he flushes bacon down the toilet. <laughs> There's a video of this dude cooking food. He, like, he takes his... I, I never understood this. I'll just explain the story while I look at a little, a little video footage in the background. I'll tell you what a great cook DSP is. I'm sure his wife's super fucking thrilled. Waking up every day to the fresh aroma of toilet bacon. Because who doesn't want to eat toilet bacon? It's God's <laughs> God's most bountiful food on the face of the earth. There we go. I just made it. I'll let this play. Let me pick it somewhere in the middle here. doesn't really matter. So there's this video of DSP cooking. And I don't, I don't understand this. I, I never have understood this. So he's cooking up bacon, which I guess is a staple food that this man loves quite a bit. And he decides that you know, God, the pan got really greasy. So what what am I going to do with all this bacon grease that's accumulated in my in my cooking pan? So he takes his fucking... It's like a Masiokis thing. He takes his fucking pan into the bathroom and flushes his fucking grease down the toilet. <laughs> I, I don't understand. It's like he can't even operate cooking properly. He cooks like he plays video games. Very confused. It's It, it, it confuses him. It, it kind of fucks with his head a little bit. Where does bacon grease go? Obviously down the toilet. <laughs> I wish he did more of these. He stopped doing them. I think because his uh, detractors were getting on his ass too much about it. Uh, for those of you who don't know, detractors was the title that DSB gave people who uh, disliked his content. <laughs> he would call them detractors. He didn't. Now, to be fair, he did have a spurgy group of A-logs that would fuck with him. Oh, excuse me. Uh, pulled. I pulled a Philip. God, you talk about DSP and suddenly you're belching on stream. <laughs> I did not plan that. It's like some kind of weird psychosomatic thing. Any contact with DSP will make you belch uncontrollably. But uh, he had a very spurgy group of people uh, that would fuck with him on a daily basis. Not just trolling. But like they got to the point where they were 
quite literally building water wells in Africa to try to one. I don't know how that works. It one's it was to one up him somehow. Like look at us, we're we're buying charitable things in the uh, fucking middle of nowhere. Why don't you do it? And then they attached his name and face to it, as I guess a big fuck you. So every time some Ethiopian took a drink, they'd thank DSP as <laughs> some kind of massive troll on their part. Oh, DSP, I cannot believe he's married. I cannot believe this motherfucker found a woman that will tolerate his shit. <laughs> oh, think about that. I don't know how old you are watching this right now. Maybe you're in your late 20s or your early 30s, and you're planning your life. I just want you to know that this dude, DSP, owns two homes, and he's married. How does that work? I, it's like he's got some kind of Teflon coating on him. No matter how big the fuck up is, no matter how stupid the shit he does is, he somehow comes out through it in the end smelling like roses. YouTube channels get demonetized, gets them back. Uh, networks drop them, gets a new one. Gets kicked off YouTube, instantly on Twitch. Loses money from doing something stupid, finds a way to gain it back. He's like a, he's like a fucking unicorn. He's like the one fuck up that no matter what he does, he will always come through in the end just fine. I, I'd almost wager that if we had World War III tomorrow and they launched nukes at us, whatever fictitious country you can come up with, launched a full-out nuclear attack against us, and it was devastating, hundreds of millions of people dead, cities in ruin, he would be streaming the next fucking day, somehow. He would, he would be streaming the next day telling you that he needed $17,000 to pay his taxes. That's how... <laughs> I don't know how he does it. Oh, you know what we should watch? I think this... I, I think this should be up here. Oh, I probably need to... That's probably not enough information to find what I'm looking for. Oh, there used to be a... Okay, I think this might be... I think this might be it. People create the weirdest shit for this guy. But here we go. It's a DSP snort montage <laughs> that's eight minutes long, taken from only two months. Let's, uh, let's give it a listen. P-P tries it. he snorts so much i've never really figured it out i know he said he has gout i understand that like uh, gout's like a you ate too much red meat or you didn't eat enough red meat some fucking thing like that but he he's he sounds like somebody's trying to jump start a fucking rusty motorcycle it's just that's 27 seconds of it and it just keeps going It does. It does sound like a little piglet. It's a little piglet. <laughs> it's, a, it's a piglet fill. A tiny little piglet. Somebody should animate that. Tiny little piglet fill. <laughs> I just, I never, I never understood why he snorts so much. He said, he, I think he said he had like some kind of allergy condition, but I'm pretty sure allergies don't last all year long. <laughs> I'm fairly certain they don't. Oh, let me, let me see if I can find this particular video. Uh, cause it's, it's fantastic. Oh my God. Can I find it? I'm, I'm looking for one. Maybe you can help me out and send it to my good friend, uh, Mr. Anti-Bully on Twitter. I'm looking for a particular animation somebody did to his narration of the Pandalee ER visit. I, I'm fairly certain that should still be up. Hopefully. <laughs> Somewhere on the internet. Oh, my God. I, I wish I had found this ahead of time. Did he get it taken down? Sometimes this motherfucker can get shit pulled pretty quickly. Uh, give me one moment to find it. We'll, we'll watch that because it's pretty special. That was the uh, girlfriend he had in his last relationship. 
things went a little bit south when she had to go to the hospital and he told her basically suck it the fuck up. I'm not interested. What are you doing? Oh boy. Oh shit. Boomer Jim's fucking it up again. Falling, falling through here. God, other people have animated. How many people have animated this? Message. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, uh, okay. I think. <laughs> okay, I found it. Perfect. I got it. We got it. So this is a DSP's hospital visit story, on what happened with his his ex uh, girlfriend, ex fiance, Pandaly. And uh, it's it's a doozy. I don't know if you know much about P or DSP lore, but uh, it's it's worth it. Trust me on this. Yeah, I got it, Chad. I got it. I got it. We should be good. Uh, here we go. Okay, so I go to, I go to the hospital and I walk in to the front main area because I don't know where to go. I don't know if they brought her to emergency. I don't know if she's been already if, if she's going to be admitted to the hospital. I don't know what's going on. How serious this whole situation is? I have no idea. Okay. Uh, Fly Eagles Fly. Shout out to Fly Eagles Fly who just did a uh, oh, just uh, just subscribed to the channel actually. Thank you, Fly Eagles Fly. I appreciate that. Um, so I walk into the hospital. There's an information desk. It's completely empty. There's no one sitting there. You can tell there's four chairs, no one there. I guess because it's Sunday, no one works at this hospital or whatever. So I'm looking around. I'm pacing back and forth. What do I do? Who do I talk to? Finally, I find a phone. It says, oh, lift this phone for information. Okay. I pick up the phone. Hello, is this the, who is this? Can you help me? You know, my girlfriend, I think she's in the hospital somewhere. And they're like, oh, okay, what's her name? I give her the name. And they're like, okay, she's still over in emergency. So go this way and go to emergency. Okay. Would have been nice if, you know, there was a fucking human working instead of me having to find a random phone that was hidden in this hallway. I really wish people did this more often. Um, this is this is like a one-off. I don't think anybody's ever done another one of these. But it's so perfect. That little Phil Burnell, that little DSP, is just perfect. It's like a little egg crossbred with a thumb. But it has all his features, and you know it's him. <laughs> you can instantly look at this little thing. And be like, yeah, that's that's DSP. So, okay, I get on, I, I go through this lobby. I go to the emergency. So again, I walk to emergency. Now there's a line, and I'm like, well, these are people who are hurt. What do I do? So I get in line, but I'm looking around. I wait in line for like five minutes, and I realize to my left, way over here, on a tiny little sign, not even like apparent, little little sign, it says visitor check in. I'm like. Wow, if only there was a big fucking sign so everyone would know where to go when they walk into this hospital instead of this little, tiny rinky-dink sign you can't even see from the front door. So if I get out of the line I'm in, I go over there, talk to a security guy, you know, kick me a copy of my license, checks me in. He says, okay, she's down there, she's in room 28. I said, so what's the deal? He says, well, it says here, you know, she had a pain, another anxiety attack. Well, not another because they don't know that she's had them in the past. She says, she had an anxiety attack. Um, apparently, they, you know, she's drugged and she's in this room awaiting uh, a doctor to kind of <laughs> how they make her look like she's got like a fish face she's got she looks like she's had a stroke it's just it it's perfect it looks like this bitch got hit in the head with a fucking shovel and doesn't understand what planet she's on <laughs> everything about this fucking animation is perfect and to come either come in or whatever i guess a doctor coming to coming in to, to check her out or no 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 actually I take that back he said, no, he did say that. He had told me there was a doctor that was checking her out or something like that. And I was like, okay. So I go, I walk through, I go all the way to the, to the back of the emergency area where they've got her in a room. And I go in and she's conscious, but she's kind of loopy. You could tell they did something, they drugged her or something. Cause she wasn't, no panic or nothing, you know, no anxiety or nothing. She was just like, oh, like loopy like this. Right. Um, so I, you know, obviously you say you're okay. You didn't fall and hit your head or nothing, right? No, just, you know, it happens. It sucks because it happens every once in a while. And now uh, I, I should say going forward too, as you watch this, just know that the story he's telling you right now, after these events happened, like a week after this took place, their relationship ended. She left him because of how he acted during this. Their five-year relationship came to a fucking dead halt. Because of how great he was in this situation. Now this is the worst one she's ever had, so maybe that she has to go see, you know, her doctor and and try to get some kind of thing to take care of it. Because the, the the bottom line is with anxiety attacks, they suck. The reason that they suck is there's really no way to cure them. Okay, um, 
there's things you can do. Like, for example, you could try a certain kind of breathing or um, if there's someone who's like constantly has mental issues and is having these problems, they could go on an antidepressant. But that's not the situation here. The situation is every once in a while she just gets one and now it's like a tizzy. You got to try to calm her down. Right. Um, now, in this case, they drugged her. So she got drugged. She, you know, she was woozy or whatever. So I sat there with her, and I, I'm not even kidding. We're sitting there waiting. Wait, I said, well, what are we waiting for? And she says, I guess they told me that there's going to be a counselor that's going to be coming in and talking to me about this and what happened and, or whatever to make sure I'm all right. And then, and, you know, I can't, I can't, we can't get any further help or diagnosis until this counselor comes in. Okay. All right. So we're sitting there, and I look down, and on her left, she's in, you know, she's on a hospital gurney or whatever, sitting there in the room. On her lap is a brochure. I said, what's this? I pick it up. Finance it. How to pay? Finance it. I'm like, you're in the emergency room. You're like, you're. They already gave you a way to pay the bill. I love that anything DSP related always comes down to money. Like, there's nothing this guy cannot turn into a money situation. Every other fucking time he's on a stream or does a video, there's some big emergency, which makes the title. It's all very fitting. It's my taxes are coming up. I'm going to lose my duplex. Uh, I have a back bill that's due. Uh, emergency super secret cast. If you guys don't give me $5,000 right now, I'm never going to be able to play video games for you ever again. And even with the story of his girlfriend going to the hospital for an anxiety attack, he finds a way to kind of finesse in there. Uh, 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 underlying financial issue. Get those donations later on. And I'm looking at it like, imagine if you were here and you had your arm chopped off and your arm is fucking splurting blood. Before they start suturing it, do they hand you the payment brochure first just to be sure you could fucking pay? I couldn't believe it. I was like, if that was me and I was sitting in an emergency room, I'd be fucking offended that they would hand me this up front like that. Seriously, I'd be like, get the fuck out of here with this. I'm insulted that you hand me a payment fucking plan already. I mean, this is ridiculous. I couldn't believe it. Okay, I couldn't believe it. So, we wait there. How long? Now, let's see. How long did we wait? Let's see how people can take a guess. How long did we wait? Did we wait 10 minutes? No. Did we wait 20 minutes? No. Did we wait 30 minutes? No. Did we wait 40 minutes? No. Did we wait 50 minutes? No. Did we wait an hour? No. An hour goes by. No one's come in. No nurse. No no counselor. Nothing. We're just sitting there doing nothing. And we're like, well, what is this? Is Are, are, you know, are, are we even aware of what's going on here? And, you know, at this point... She was starting to get hungry because now it's like around the time that we would normally eat or whatever. And we're like, God, this is no good. Now we're going to be, we'll be starving. Or we have to figure out what's going on. So I said, okay, let me leave and go find someone. So I leave the room and I walk down the hallway and there's like a desk at the end of this emergency room hallway. And I, you know, I talk, say to the girl there, oh, excuse me, you know, my, my girlfriend or, you know, is over a room. <laughs> Fucking a little twitch and YouTube icons in his thought train. You know, that's what this guy was thinking about. Just getting annoyed watching that clock, waiting for the fucking uh, doctor to come in to release her, because he's got to stream Dark Souls 2 or some shit, and this is getting in his fucking way for the evening. 28, and, you know, she just had, she had a panic attack, they drugged her, and we need to know what's going on. We're wondering, is there a counselor coming or whatever, because we're in the dark, we're just standing here, we're not even sure what's going on. And the girl li literally looks at me like this and says, I don't know, and no one here knows anything. I was like, Wow! What great help, right? But she says, so, go back to the room and press the call button. Then a nurse will show up, and the nurse will be able to tell you what's going on. Okay. I couldn't believe it. I'm, I'm making it up. She actually said that to me. No one here knows anything. Okay. This is great. I know you're loving this story. I'm oh, my God. Who did this? L. Crimson King, please make another one of these. <laughs> please make more of these. He's got so many dumb fucking stories. Of retarded shit that he has done. And this is this is amazing. The little fucking egg Burnell, the little thumb Phil, just just bitching about his daily life in this format is a hundred times more entertaining than actually seeing him. I'm loving the story. Okay. So then I go back to the room, I tell the analyst, you're gonna have to buzz to find out what the hell's going on here. So she buzzes and we wait. And we wait about five minutes. It wasn't too bad. Nurse comes in. Woman, she says, what's going, what's wrong? What's going on? And Leanna says, well, no, she's so groggy. So she can barely talk. She's like, oh, nothing. You know, I just want to know what's happening here. Is there, you know, Are we waiting for a counselor, a doctor, or whatever? And the woman looks at us with like a look of scorn. 
right? A look of scorn. She's like, okay. Somebody in chat said he made more, and that he made a puppet. This guy made a Phil Burnell puppet. Oh, we're we're gonna pause this for one second. I have to see if that's true. Did this guy actually build a fucking DSP puppet? <laughs> he built a puppet. No fucking way. He built a fucking DSP puppet. He built a DSP puppet and he uses it to replace Phil. <laughs> what? Wait, let's take a quick look. Let's take a quick look at the DSP puppet and we'll go back to the uh, ER story. Quit. The game sucks just like it did last year when I played it. Random spawns of how much drugs you can get. Random amount of money. Fuck this game. This game sucks. I'm not going to waste time on this fucking game when there's no way to win. I'd have to literally waste like 10 hours to get enough money to finish this game. This game is a piece of shit. Here. 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 Uh-oh. Oh! <laughs> this is fucking amazing. He made a functional DSP puppet. <laughs> it looks like him too. What the fuck was that? Uh, uh, <laughs> fuck you, fuck you. Oh, did he put the masturbating scene in here? Please tell me he put the masturbating. He oh god, he's reenacting everything. <laughs> Kid. Yeah, I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. I got my hat on backwards. Realize <laughs> that what I do is actually very demanding. You're also not realizing things like having to constantly not only monitor the videos uploading, but adding them to playlists, social media to keep everyone in the loop of what's going on and constantly tweeting and all that. All that's part of it, and it's something that I have to do constantly. So my job is very... That is fucking amazing. I can't believe he took the time to make a DSP puppet. That's pretty fucking great. <laughs> okay, all right, we'll get back to the um, to the ER story. I'm sorry, Chad. I, just, I had to check that out. Somebody said they dude made a puppet of DSP, and it actually did. All right, let's uh, let's continue. You've only been here like an hour and a half, and we have other patients. And I'm like, what kind of fucking place is this? <laughs> like, you're going to talk down to the to a patient who's been waiting an hour and a half, and no one's come in to tell her the status of what's going on. And she asks, and you get angry. And I'm like, what the hell? So I said, listen. I said, we're both hungry. She needs food. She hasn't eaten today. So the woman says, okay, I'll go get you some food. So she leaves. She comes back with a turkey sandwich. It's like turkey on, on rye bread with a piece of lettuce and a piece of cheese and like a packet of mustard and a couple saltines and a, and a, a apple juice and like a little – the apple juice looked like it was in like a yogurt cup. I've never even seen apple juice stored like that before. And a, a string cheese. Now, Leanna hates string cheese, and Leanna wasn't super hungry for like a sandwich, so she ate some saltines. Good. She got something in there. And she, there was water. Oh, okay, all right. Hold on, chat. Uh, people are saying I missed the good part, which is at four minutes, and that he made a second puppet, a pig puppet of Phil? <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's, uh, we'll line them up here. He's very time consuming. We'll line them up here and see if they've got the, uh... The bottom line I'm is... Not, I'm not seeing it. You got a time code for the masturbation bit. Oh, uh, Fantastic. Uh, but, all right, here's the uh, Phil Burnell pig puppet this guy made, I guess. Let's see what it looks like. He's half pig, half roach, and half man. Introducing Pig Roach Man, Pig Roach Man, Pig Roach Man. Pig roach man. It's, it's pretty well done. <laughs> he updated it to be a pig roach. Fantastic. Uh, 420, is that what I'm looking for here? I'm not I'm not seeing it on the timeline. 
All right, we'll, we'll take a look in a minute. We'll finish up the hospital story. Uh, but there you go. That was the pig roach puppet alongside the Phil puppet. And now back to the... God, this guy's like a, a little Da Vinci, isn't he? Just a renaissance man doing all sorts of shit. Puppets and animations. All things... All things DSP related. Further to give her water. She didn't want the apple juice. So we gave her the apple juice or whatever. All right. Um... So now we wait again. We're waiting and waiting. So anyway, oh, I forgot to tell you. Before the nurse left, she said, the counselor is coming. You just have to wait. You have to wait because there's other people here. I'm like, wow. Thanks. How long did we wait for the counselor? What do you think? Did we wait an hour and a half? Yeah, well, no, longer than that. We wait an hour and 45 minutes. No, okay, maybe we had two hours. Yeah, no, longer than that. Almost two and a half fucking hours we sat there, okay, waiting for a counselor to come into the room. The counselor was an elderly woman. You can tell she's probably in her 60s, white woman. Comes in with two pieces of paper. Okay, she comes in. Hi, how you doing? Are you in pain? No, that's good. Uh, are you still you're still having anxiety? No, that's good. Okay. Uh, they gave you some drugs, right? Yeah, okay, that's why you're calm. That's why you're woozy. It's because you're on the drugs. So here's two pieces of paper explaining what anxiety attacks are. Have you ever had an anxiety attack before? And I'm like... So they admitted her, or they admit her, they bring her into the, the emergency room, they get, administered a drug, and no one even asked her when she was brought in anything any, at all. They had no basic information whatsoever about this thing. She'd been sitting there for two and a half hours. She might have been having a life-crippling anxiety attack where she's going to fucking, you know, lose her mind and be mentally, lose her, lose her shit. And she comes in and asks, did you ever have an anxiety attack before? She's like, yes. Uh, are they usually like this? Well, you know, I have them, but this is the worst one I've ever had. Oh. Well, do you have a doctor? Yeah. A primary care physician? Yeah. Well, we recommend that you go see your doctor then. I'm like, oh my god, are you fucking for real? I fucking love how the animation lines up perfectly like that. <laughs> it captures the essence of Phil just so well. Just so fucking well. Are you fucking for real? Okay. Then she says, so, you know, there are different ways that we can help with uh, with stuff like this. Primarily what, what it is, is we recommend you don't take any drugs at all. You just wait it out. Okay. Now, obviously, just waiting it out doesn't work in the situation that Leanna was in to the point where they called the paramedics. The paramedics recommended drugging her. So this woman is obviously a fucking buffoon. Okay. Somebody in chat saying all jokes aside, what kind of hospital is this? Well, you have to remember, anything Phil tells you is always going to make himself the victim and the person going through the most arduous shit. Like, <laughs> basically, uh, Leanna had some kind of an emergency, uh, had to go to the hospital. Phil found out, I think, through her co-workers who were told that, yeah, an ambulance came, picked her up, brought her to the hospital. She's at the hospital right now. He took his sweet fucking time, like 20 minutes, finally got off his ass, went to the hospital, and they got very angry that he had to pay money. For the ambulance and the hospital visit. <laughs> and all he did was bitch about it. And I'll sum the story up for you. Uh, the animation's great, by the way. But at the very end of it, he tells Leanna, um, <laughs> I think he tells the hospital, uh, don't don't bring her in. If she calls you, if she calls 911 and needs to come into the emergency room, tell her no. Don't Don't bring her in. And a week after that, she leaves him. Very, very kind-hearted. Very good, good boyfriend of the year material, really. Uh, there's another stream he did where he's like, she had the flu or she was really fucking sick. And he tells the viewers, hey guys, hold on a second. I have to go wake her up so she can cook me dinner. So, so he never really gave a shit. Always, always just an amazing thing. Always an amazing thing with Mr. Burnell. God, he's been around. He has been around for fucking ever. Just doing retarded shit on the daily. I, he's going to be 50 years old doing it. <laughs> he's going to be 50 years old doing this sometime. Oh, I think, is this... Uh, we'll just play the source video. Uh, this one's always good, too. Uh, our, our boy, DSP. Just, you know, unwinding a little bit before a stream. <laughs> this is probably like a, a Twitch streamer's nightmare. They forget that their camera is on them. And then DSP decides, you know what? I think my audience would really like it if I if I crank one out. 
I think uh, I think all the uh, viewers would really like to watch me masturbate live on Twitch or <laughs> wherever the fuck he was at the time. So uh, <laughs> here's DSP just unwinding before that arduous Let's Play is coming up. Imagine life without you, ice cream. Mmm, mm, you're so creamy, and I wish you know. I always wondered what is he looking at. He's paying really close attention to something. Do you think he's watching the donation amount in his chat? <laughs> Do you think he got like 20 bits there? Like, oh god, look at the donations rolling in. Oh, guys, emergency! I've got a tax emergency. Donate to me now. Oh, God. Oh, I need that $1,000 donation. Come on. Come on. DSP needs to pay his taxes. Oh, come. Brightside Viking, where are you at? I need to buy. I need to pay my taxes. Oh, here we go. Oh, we got a few seconds before. I love how he pops back on stream, too, after relieving himself. Yeah, look at that money amount just go up. He's got a little bit cup display on the screen, just watching the money drop into it. Oh, that's a big donation. Oh, that's a big donation. Thinking about that money. <laughs> Thinking about those donations. What is up, everyone? Hello, hello, and welcome. Oh, the camera's on. <laughs> oh, 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 the camera's on. Oh, all the people that were sitting on my stream just watched me masturbating for the last two minutes, vigorously touching myself in front of a live Twitch audience. Oh, that's, uh-oh. That's, uh, <laughs> it's at that moment he knew he fucked up. At that exact moment, Phil knew that he had fucked up. Oh, and he came through this. You know, most people, if they jacked off on a Twitch stream, that probably would be it. That's when you'd call it a day. They would never live it down. That would be the end of the Twitch career. Here we are, what, two years later? Phil's still trucking on. Nothing can stop this man. His girlfriend can leave him. His house could fucking burn down. Lightning could strike him five times on the head. And he would still be around to continue streaming. Nothing will ever stop him. I don't, I don't know what kind of material he's made of. Sometimes I don't think he's actually human. I think he's human-like. And he just survives it somehow. It's it's really fucking remarkable. But our boy's married now. So chat, I I, I don't know. Can you give him a? Uh, can you give him a? Well, what what? How do we want to give him a C for congratulations, chat? If you could, <laughs> congratulate DSP on actually finding a woman that wouldn't flee his property. Sure, she may only speak Russian and is very confused about why her handlers left him with him. But give him a C for congratulate Phil on his happy future lifetime with his new wife. <laughs> Way to go, buddy. Way to really achieve the dream. You caught one. You caught one that you couldn't, you know, that couldn't get away. You've, you've done it, Phil. You've showed us all it's possible. Give him a C. He's earned it. Our boy's been through a lot of shit. Dealing with those fucking trolls, those detractors, those A-logs, fucking water wells in Africa, all that bullshit. And he's come out smelling like roses. Nothing's going to keep Phil down. He's got a good woman by his side. Velcro to his side. Ball and chain to it. Tape to it. There's an elastic cord that won't let her get away, but she's by his side nonetheless. And that deserves a C for congratulations. Or some people in chat gave him an F. Probably for her, not for him. <laughs> Best of luck, honey. Enjoy your, enjoy your life. I, yeah, I could really, I could picture Phil as a 50-year-old man playing video games on a Twitch stream and still making donations. You know, I was trying to calculate if he owes, what, 17000 in taxes. I, I'm guessing... I, 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 how do you undo that to figure out exactly how much he's making? He must be making six figures a year. And it still baffles me. If he really is making like 100000 or more a year, how he's always in a state of debt. I know he's got that duplex back home. And he's got a house he's paying for, and for some reason, 
they they rent their car, they lease it or whatever, rather than just buy a used car that's cheap. But for some reason, year after year, for that nine year legacy of making that much fucking money, you know, one more year if he's been making a hundred K a year, one more year and Phil's made a million dollars. Wrap your head around that. Phil Burnell, DSP, the guy that honks and snorts on his streams. <laughs> the dude that masturbated in front of a Twitch audience has made a million dollars. <laughs> how does how does he do it? How does he do it? It's remarkable. Absolutely. Will he live stream his divorce? Somebody in chat said. I don't know. It's a possibility. <laughs> he might live stream his divorce for us. Oh my God, Phil. Phil, what are you doing? Uh, somebody in chat. He isn't in debt. He's just milking his pay pigs. He made nineteen thousand and nineteen thousand dollars in December of twenty eighteen alone. God, if he's making nineteen k a month, then yeah, he's making way over a hundred thousand. We're talking two hundred thousand dollars. Phil is a rich man with a Russian mail order bride. <laughs> Life is going good for our friend DSP, and he'll still be kicking at fifty years old. You can't keep him down. He just keeps sprouting back up like a weed, a weed that snorts like a pig. <laughs> 